Welcome back, everybody. This is our Algebra 2 Exponential Functions Lesson Number 11, Solving Exponential Equations Using Logs Homework Review. And uh, make sure you catch some of the other videos we did before. And as always, if you find videos helpful in your learning, please give this video a like and subscribe to the channel to know when new videos are added to the channel. Turn on notifications and they'll come up and say, hey, we're up there. So our first question here is, which of the following values to the nearest hundredth solves seven to the X equals 500? And so we could plug each of these values into X and probably guess and check, but there is a way to approach this, in this case, solving using logarithms. When solving an exponential equation whose basis cannot be made equal to each other, Step one, isolate the term with the variable exponent to one side of the equation, moving everything else to the other side. So you want to get that term, that number to the x power, all by itself. And that could be mean you're extracting things, maybe dividing anything that's multiplying it also. Or step two, take the common log of both sides. Now the common log is log base 10. We're inputting each side into the log. So We'll plug in, in this case, the, the first side in this log of the first part is equal to log of the second part. Step three, use the power rule for logs to bring exponents down to the front of the log. Now your variable is multiplying the log. So the power rule takes any exponent that's being, that has it, uh, any exponent in the input of the log and moves it out and multiplies the log. And this takes care of our variable that we're looking for. And step four, solve for the variable by dividing both sides by the log that is multiplying the variable. I'll make this full page so you can take a look at all the four steps. Okay. So in this question, we have seven to the x equals 500. So we will write this down here, seven to the x equals 500. And we have, that number with the exponent all by itself. Our second step means we're going to take the log of both sides, which means we'll plug in 70x into the first log, log base 10. Now, when I don't put a base there, it is representing the common log, or log base 10. So our second step is to plug the 7x into a log for the left side and the 500 into a log on the right side. Our third step is our power rule that brings the exponent down to the front. So we have x times log 7 equals log 500. And so log of 7, 500, log 500 are actual numbers, real numbers, uh, maybe a lot of decimals, mind you, but they're compact in this case. And so now if x is multiplying log 7, we're going to divide both sides by log 7 because log seven is a number. Now we're not gonna get log of 500 over seven, we're gonna get log of 500 divided by log of seven. So now let's break out the calculator. So log 500, close parenthesis, make sure close parenthesis, divide by log seven, close parenthesis. And we're going to get in this case 3.1936768. What's nearest hundredth would be 3.19. And 3.19, so x is approximately 3.19, that would be choice one. Question number two the solution to 2 to the x, 2 raised to the x over 3 power equals 52. The nearest tenth is which of the, fo which of the following? It should be 2 to the nearest tenth, so. So again, we're gonna be trying this out. We are going to, we have 2 to the x over 3 equals 52. We're now going to take the log of both sides, so log of 2 to the x over 3 equals the log of 52. Make sure you're taking the log of both sides, which means you're plugging both the left and right side into the log function. Now using our power rule to bring the variable down, we now have x over three 
times log of 2 equals log of 52. Now, the first thing I do is divide both sides by log 2. So we divide both sides by log 2. We have x over 3 is equal to the log of 52 over the log of 2. But we don't want x over 3. We want x. So, we, so here, since x is dividing 3, we're going to multiply both sides by 3. So now x is equal to 3 times log of 52 divided by log 21. And so now let's recalculate up here. 3 times, parenthesis, log of 52, close parenthesis, divide by log of 2. I believe it was log of 2, just to make sure. It is log 2. Okay. I thought I put it down log 21 by accident. So, okay. And so here we go. We get an answer of 17.10131915. And so that means in this case, we're going to have 17.1 as our, as our answer there. Okay. So 17.1, that will be our answer for number two. Number three, to the nearest hundredth, the value of x that solves 5 to the x minus 4 equals 275. Again, what we're going to do is we'll follow our rules. 5 to the x minus 4 equals 275. We're going to take the log of both sides. So the log of 5 to the x minus 4 equals the log of 275. How rule brings down the exponent. Now put parentheses around the x minus 4 because again all of x minus 4 is multiplying the log of 5 now equals the log of 275. So we're going to divide both sides by a log of 5. And what we're going to get is x minus 4 equals the log of 275, 275, over the log of 5. But we need to get, we don't want x minus 4, we want x. So now we're going to add 4 to both sides. So we're going to get, in this case, x is equal to the log of 275, divided by the log of 5, plus 4. So log of 275 plus the log of 5, divided by log of 5, plus 4. Okay, so let's type into calculator. Log of 275 divided by log of 5, close parenthesis, plus 4. Okay, and now what happens is calculator is going to do division first and then add, which is the correct order operations. So we get 7.489896102. And <clears throat> this will round off to, let's see, to the nearest uh, hundredth, I guess, would be 7.49. Just to make sure, 7.49 is correct. So I definitely circle that answer there, choice four. All right. Number four, solve each of the following answer equations, round each of your answers to the nearest hundredth. So, and we see at this point, very similar to what we're doing. So we're gonna plug, the, in this case, the left and right side into logs. So log of 9 to the x minus 3 is equal to log of 250. Power rule, x minus 3 times the log of 9 
equals the log of 250 divided by si both sides by log of 9, log of 9, not log of 2. So x minus 3 equals log of 250 over log 9. And we'll add 3 to both sides. And we're down to the nearest hundredth. So x is equal to, we're going to type in a calculator now, log of 250 divided by log of 9. So log of 250 divided by log of 9. And we're going to have, I believe it said plus 3, plus 3. And always want to make sure. Plus 3. And we get 5.51292515. But the nearest hundred is 5.51. So we get 5.51 as our answer for the first one, A. For B, again, for B is a little different now. B is really 50 times 2 to the x equals 1,000. So now we're going to divide both sides by 50 to get 2 to the x by itself. So 2 to the x now becomes, well, 50, it goes into 100, I do believe, 20 times. <clears throat> All right. And so we take the log of both sides. Log of 2 to the x equals log 20. Power rule bring, means we bring down the x value, and we get x log of 2 equals log of 20. We'll divide both sides by log 2. And therefore, x is equal to log of 20 over log 2. So log 20. Close parenthesis, divide by log 2, close parenthesis, and to the nearest hundredth, 4.3219, or in this case, 4.32 will be our answer. And for the last question here, we have 5x over 10 equals 35, so we'll take the log of 5 raised to the power of x over 10 equals the log of 35. The power rule means the x over 10 comes down. So we get x over 10 times log of 5 equals log 35. We're going to divide both sides by log 5 first. So now we have x over 10 equals the log of 35 over the log 5. But we don't want x divided by 10. To undo this, we multiply both sides by 10. So we get in this case, x is equal to 10 times log of 35 over log 5. And again, this is typed to our calculator. 10 times log of 35 divided by log of 5. We end up getting, oops, 22.09. Okay, to near, that's the nearest 100, 22.09. All right, 22.09, and that's our final answer here. Okay? Ladies and gentlemen, thanks so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful. Please give it a like if it was, and make sure to subscribe to the channel. All right, watch, watch out for the next video, and I'll see you then. Take care, and be safe.